Hello everyone. The topic of this video clip, Cheap TV. I follow a group on Facebook, Roku Rocks. It's a public group and many, most of the conversation is about, with all the members, the followers, is about how do people cut their television expenses down because cable has become so expensive. And using the modern technology and changing some TV habits, you can really save hundreds, probably a thousand a year, if you really take the time to learn how to put together a great setup for yourself. And that's why I'm recording this video, because today I finally have the time, and I've had many people in the past six months, especially in the past six months, ask me, what is your setup? I I'm missing something. What do you mean you connect this? What do you mean co you connect that? And this woman today, she posted in the group, and I was following, I happened to be on the computer, and I said, I do this and that. You know what? I'm going to record a video clip about it. I have an HDMI cable wire connected to my computer and my flat screen TV, and I stream most of my TV from the internet. A lot of it is live. I get all the news channels live. And if you don't mind being a day or two behind with your TV shows or a week behind, you, you, you get access to all your favorite TV shows. So here we go. I'm going to record this video clip. I'm sure you will find it interesting because you can save at least $1,000 a year and lower your TV expenses. Okay, here we go. I'm in my living room in the corner behind the television setup and I drilled a hole in my wall years ago when I got the Roku and I have cable wires going through the wall to the other side and to, to the other room. I have a pretty small setup, nice and basic. It looks messy now because I m moved everything around but when everything's tucked in and this is tucked into the corner you don't see anything. This is the Roku TV device and this is something I bought off of Amazon for like six bucks to have extra plugs for the cables. And when I do watch Roku, I change it to a different setting. That one's dead. These two, I use one and two all the time. So I have an extra plug still. And as a bonus, old computer speakers and old computer speakers and then the TV speaker. I created my own mini surround sound. It sounds really good when you're watching a mo movie. And I listen to music via the internet all the time too. Okay, stay tuned. I'm on the other side of my wall, next to the corner of my desk. Yes, it's a little dusty like everybody else's, but the point is, there's the hole, all the cable wires going through the wall. Okay, stay tuned. This is my setup. I watch television on my Mac desktop all the time, but lately, I've been watching television on my laptop while I'm working on my computer. And it's a really good setup, and then of course I have my iPad that I can watch television on. And this is a pretty good setup that I have. So this is the other side of the wall. See, I have this on number two. You'll get used to your setup. And it's because on the TV set, it looks like a blank computer screen. And that's what you want before you do what I'm about to show you. When I get home, I turn on my computer, then I turn on my television set. Then I open up a browser. I already have it open to abc.com, one of the channels that I watch. And over here, you can browse the shows or watch news live and take it from there, browse around. I get all the TV shows that I want to watch because I never watch them when they're live most of the time. So this isn't a problem for me. And, oh, this is good to show you. What I do is, I'll go to the corner here. I'm on a Mac. And I'll shrink the browser window. Then, I go to my keyboard. And I'm going to click Command F1. I go Command F1 at the same time. And when that happens, bear with me. i got to change my hand here. You're going to see this expand. Command F1. There you go. And then I'll, then I will adjust. Then if I click on live, 
I don't want the sound to be on. I just turned down the sound because I'm uploading this to my YouTube channel. That you see the television, the the TV show come on. So I'll scroll a little bit. They always change everything. And over here, I'll click expand. So it's full screen on my computer, and it's full screen on my TV. So now I have two TVs on, and then I can turn on my laptop. There's a lot you can do, folks. Isn't that interesting? I just have the volume off. It, this is how it works. And then if I want to turn on my Roku, I would just go here. I go to one. I know it's number one. And that's the screen save on the Roku. I use the remote. Click OK. Let's see what happens. It brings me to Roku. There you go. And I do my thing. I hope me showing you recording this video helps you learn how you can set yourself up to save a lot of money each year in my case i've never spent a lot of money on television but i i'm, I'm sure i save at least seven hundred dollars a year now because i've adjusted changed my ways changed my habit my television viewing habits and it was so worth it and now I'm just used to it. I know everything I showed you probably looks like a lot of work. I have my entire world set up. I walk in the door, I turn on the computer, I take off my shoes, I do my thing, I turn on my television, I come back, do a couple of clicks here and there. I'm all set up for the night. That's how you work it. A lot of options out there to save a lot of money. Okay, folks, until next time, if you have any other questions, leave a comment, post a question in the comment section. Have a good day. Bye-bye.